strettissimo braccetto. Without a shadow of a doubt. Senza ombre di dubbio. For some, there is a battle to be joined for the very soul of the nation's youth. Signore Gesù, per tutti quei giovani che vivono nel vuoto, nella solitudine, nella disperazione, per i tanti ragazzi che sono incappati nelle sette sataniche, per coloro che seguono una musica sbagliata che porta alla distruzione mentale, alla distruzione interiore, spirituale, Spirito Santo. This next song is for those motherfuckers in the mosque, ok? Just 10 miles from the scene of the Beasts of Satan murders, the annual heavy metal festival attracts bands from as far afield as Sweden and Germany. People here don't seem particularly interested in having their souls saved. Metal fans consider themselves to be one big family. People here come from all walks of life. My intention in playing this music isn't so that I can mix with these kids in order to convert them. I go simply because I like the music. Proprio nulla di nulla per fare che avvenga che questo sta... Friar Cesare has been a Capuchin monk for more than 30 years. His Catholic taste in music is not diminished by the anti-Christian imagery of many of the metal bands. L'apparato. The pseudo-satanic, pseudo-demonic trappings in the metal scene are an affectation it's posturing, which in most cases is just designed to shock. In black metal and death metal, we are dealing with what the words themselves describe. Dark messages of death and violence. Supported by many in the Catholic Church, Don Aldo has gone so far as to set up a hotline for parents worried about Satanism. And he has rescued youngsters from the clutches of heavy metal. Spirito Santo, entra nei loro cuori, nelle loro menti. Guariscili, come sei entrato nel cuore di un giovane che è qui presente, che un giorno ha avuto la forza, ha spezzato tutti i dischi, i cd, gli aggettati e se la musica si fa and if music makes itself an instrument of nefarious deeds and death it should be stopped I don't think the kids who are into metal are so stupid as to take everything they say literally and in any case the metal scene is about the music Friar Cesare may not be here to convert people, but there are some who definitely are. We are uh, Satanists. What does that actually mean in your music? It means, uh, apart from the music, the music is a channel that we use to spread our beliefs. Dissection are a black metal band from Sweden. Their credentials in the world of extreme metal are impeccable. I was uh, sentenced to 10 years in prison for accessory to murder. Well, I was uh, involved in uh, a killing of a man. 
Satanism uh, is dangerous, of course. And if you choose to uh, to uh, rise up against something, then you have to use violence. And I say that people, you know, will always kill each other. Most bands are just uh, playing with this uh, Satanist thing, just because, of course, it always attracted uh, kids. And what you're actually doing with this action is to shape again the black and death metal scene so that uh, it becomes something more serious and not just uh, you know bullshit for kids that just want to have fun and drink beer you know worries about the effects of heavy metal are nothing new in the 1980s, people claimed to have found hidden messages in Ozzy Osbourne's lyrics. From Elvis Presley to punk rock, parents have worried that music could turn well-adjusted young people into delinquents. But research suggests that these concerns may be missing the point. Most kids who listen to this music are okay. There's no problem with it. There are probably 10 million teenagers listening to heavy metal, and most of them are just fine. The concern is if you come at it the other way. There are kids who are problematic for a variety of reasons that have nothing to do with the music. They're alienated from their families, they're alienated from school, they're experiencing depression, possibly all of these things, and now suddenly they are listening to the kind of music, the sound of which and the lyrics of which are violent, the lyrics are misogynist, the lyrics are depressed and depressing, the lyrics are satanic, they talk about suicide, they talk about self-mutilization, the very kinds of things we're worried that these problem kids will get engaged in. What the music may well be doing is simply uh, reinforcing beliefs that they might have started with in the first place. <laughs> Music fashions come and go, but for 30 years, heavy metal has endured, becoming ever more extreme. We don't play rock and roll, we don't play synth. We just play black metal. And the fucking story. Norwegian black metalers Mayhem are currently recording their 18th album, though they may have other career opportunities. That's, that's what we're going to do, just sell, you know, photographed pig heads. And as long as extreme metal music continues, parents will face the decision of what to do about it. And you have to go it along with them, I think. I think it is very important to not to just deny it or say that you're not supposed to do that and this, but to find out what it is, how this is, what is he thinking, and uh, why is he fascinated? What is it with this music? My kid listens to this music. He has no desire to go out and rob anybody or kill anybody, okay? I say don't blame people like me, Manson, and, 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 and people like, you know, that do what we do. We, we never, <laughs> come on, we never, you know, said, hey, we're going to be role models for your kids. That ain't what this is about. It's about entertainment, you know, I mean, and even, you know, some of the biggest assholes in the world are great entertainers, you know. It's all about the fucking metal, man. It's all it's about. <laughs>